Hi everybody, John Bailey, professional gemstone artist and founder of the Fastening Academy. Welcome to my studio and another short instructional video to help make your fastening faster, easier, and more productive. So today this is a, a short video, part of a series that's sponsored by Jarvie Tool Company, the manufacturers of the Facetron fastening machine that you see right here behind me. That's the machine we're going to use today to demonstrate these techniques. They will work on other machines. We're going to demonstrate them on the Facetron. I'm going to demonstrate a new tool that I've been using in the studio for calibrating the protractor and for zeroing the cheater uh, with a lot of precision. It's, uh, these are things that can take up time. We don't have to calibrate the protractor often, but when we do, it can be a little bit time consuming, a little bit technical. This thing makes it just super easy. It's a no brainer. Same thing for zeroing the cheater. Whenever you change out that index gear, you really want to uh, zero the cheater. It helps you after your transfers. You won't have those stair stepping girdles. And there's other videos that I've done. You might see them on YouTube about uh, sighting the rifle, zeroing the cheater. And those processes that don't use this tool, they're a little bit longer, a little more involved. This thing is just a total no brainer. It's super easy. So once I found this tool and found that I could do this technique, I want to share it with you guys. Now, I don't sell this tool, but I do recommend it. And there's an entire page of recommended tools that are like that. It's things I don't sell, but I use them and I recommend them. And that page is, uh, there's a link to that right below the video. So go down there, follow that link. You'll find an entire page of stuff that I don't sell it. I just, there's links to it because I recommend the stuff and use it. So I hope that that helps you and makes your fastening go faster and easier. So in just a minute, we're going to bring the camera over close so we can do close-ups on the uh, fastening machine. And I'm going to show techniques for using this, this tool to uh, calibrate the protractor and to zero the cheater after changing the index gear out. So uh, come on over, take a close look. So the little time and trouble saving device that I want to share with you is called a digital inclinometer. It means measuring the incline of things, their tilt. This little guy is a machinist tool, actually, used for aligning milling machines, drill presses, and stuff like that. This is an expensive one. This is a $250 version. It goes to hundreds of a degree, and it has a fancy backlit display. Oh, really cool, but based on my testing, totally unnecessary for our purposes. We don't need to spend $250. The version that I use is called a Wixie. It's this little guy. Retails for around 29 bucks on Amazon at the time of this video. And this is what it looks like. So uh, there's a link, like I mentioned, below this video. You follow that link and you go to a page of a whole bunch of recommended tools. We're gonna use this Wixie today to calibrate our protractor and to zero our cheater much faster than the old method. I do recommend learning the old method. There's videos out about how to do that. I recommend learning it and doing it and practicing it because it'll build your skill with handling your machine. Once you can do that, then do the shortcut. Don't start with the shortcut. So once you're ready for the shortcut, then we're going to do this process. So we're going to set up our machine to calibrate our protractor. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to set the protractor to 45 degrees exactly. We're going to double check it, make sure it doesn't drift. We're going to hard stop the machine. So the needle stops at zero. So even if we push on it, we're stopping at zero on our dial indicator. So we should be at exactly 45 degrees here. So I'm gonna check that out and see if maybe it needs a little adjustment, a little tweak. So we're gonna use a couple of other items to help with this process. One of those is a nice flat master lap, a nice clean one. You don't want any junk on it, no chips or dips or scratches, gouges a nice clean master lap. We're going to use also a little piece of plate glass. This is just a broken piece of window glass. You see I wasn't even careful enough to take the sharp edge off. So if you use glass, do that. You can also use a piece of precision ground metal. The reason that we need this is because this Wixi device is designed for machinists and it has magnets here in the base and they're supposed to hold this thing snugly against a drill press or a milling machine and then it's going to measure from this ridge on the outside of each edge. We're going to be interfacing with the machine uh, on the lap and then we're also going to be interfacing with the target dop, standard target dop and because the target dop won't reach all the way from edge to edge we need something to bridge that. That's what the plate glass is for. So we've got our Wixie, our piece of glass, our target dop, and then obviously 
we want to use our 45 adapter to set this up like we were cutting a table. So we're going to put the 45 adapter in the machine, snug it into the quill, and put our target top in upside down like this. And don't let it go all the way down. You want it to stick up a little so you have a little space reaching over this way because you're going to balance the Wixie on top of this in a minute. So for the moment, we're going to put this out of the way. Take our Wixie, make sure our lap is clean, plate glass on the lap, Wixie on the plate glass, and we're going to turn it on. And the Wixie is not zeroed. So what's really cool about this thing is super easy. Put your finger on it, press and hold the zero button, boom. Two tenths of a degree, we got a zero reading. Measure in the direction that the quill is going to be sitting on the lap. What I mean by that is measure this way in the direction of the quill. Uh, if I'm testing angle that the quill is swinging in, it would be a little silly for me to test in this direction. So when you take your initial reading, take it in the location on the lap and in the direction that the quill is going to be. See, the Wixie is nice and repeatable. So we'll slide this back, balance this carefully on top of the target dop, and we find that we're at least a tenth, at least a tenth of a degree off. Okay, so how do we make this shift? It's really pretty easy. We leave the protractor at 45, that's where we want to remain. We're going to steady this just a little bit. We don't want to lift it up or down, we're just going to steady it. Reach in the back and begin to adjust the hard stop. Until we get a zero. Yeah, keep everything steady, move it a couple times. Make sure we're continuing to come back to a zero. When we're at zero here and it's repeatable, we loosen the face of the dial indicator very carefully. Move the dial so the needle's on zero. And we've calibrated our protractor. Just remove all the items and go to work.